Apollo, the freak Almeida. And what we're gonna talk about today is we're gonna talk about genetics. And um, I just found out something that I fucking had no idea. Now, I started training at 11 years old, and I'm currently 44 years old, so what is that? How many years is that? 33 years? So I've been training 33 years. I've been killing it in the gym. And when I say those 33 years was every day, two hours a day, maybe taking one day off a week, eating between six and 10 meals a day, like this has been my life passion, my obsession. Now, uh, Paulo, how long have you been training for? Uh, just almost five years now. Five, five years. fucking years. Yeah. <laughs> okay, people, I've been training for 33 years and I, I am not his size now. He's bigger than I am right this minute and I've been training for 33 years. Now, that's unfucking believable That is what genetics is. And, you know, there's some people out there that would say some shit like, well, no, he just takes lots of drugs. All right, all right. Well, let me tell you something. Um, I started taking steroids at 18 years old. And in five years of taking a lot of steroids, I did not fucking look like this. <laughs> 10 years of taking steroids and training my ass off, I did not look like this. So, uh, sorry, that's not the answer. The answer is this guy has amazing fucking genetics. You know, it's kind of like, you know, these basketball players that are born, you know, seven foot four. Well, if you're seven foot four, you're gonna have a better chance in the NBA than a guy that's five foot two. The guy that's five foot two is not gonna be in the fucking NBA. He's not gonna do it. He has shitty genetics for basketball. Same thing with bodybuilding. Some of us have insane genetics. So, five years you've been training. Yeah, five years. And that's like, that's just unbelievable. Like, what got you into bodybuilding? It's kind of a, you know, it's kind of odd for someone to get into it at such a later, you know, time. Well, I, start, I started when I was in high school. I was really into it, crazy into it every day. You know, I had the magazines, all that, and, and you know, making my meals and stuff like that too. And then uh, around the age of 19, I, I really stopped. And you know, like I, how I tell people, you know, life happened. Life took me on other journeys and mm -hmm. stuff like that too. And I totally stepped away from you know, weights and, and training for a good almost 14 years. And five years ago, you know, I was on a cruise one week and I got bored. Went into the gym. <laughs> <laughs> went into the gym, and then I've been hooked ever since. Wow. And, and then I just, you know, I kept pushing myself, and I kept wanting every time I go to the gym, I always want to lift more, heavier, heavier. And I just grew like crazy and, and stuff like that. And you know, people always ask me all the time, oh, it's you know, it's because you take this, you take that. I'm like, no, it, it has no, nothing to do with that. You know, it's it's about good genetics yeah. number one, and training hard, training my ass off, and. and and, that, and that's it. And, and, and I also joke around with people all the time too. I, and I tell them, I said, you know what? I picked the right parents. So you yeah, know, that's that much sums it up. So being on that cruise is what got you where you are. If you weren't on that yeah. cruise, you might not be doing what you're doing today. Maybe, maybe not. You know, maybe maybe not. And, and you know, all rich. Also, I look back at it now. You know, I so I started five years ago. That put me at around you know age 34, and I think maybe. What, where would I be if I would have started at 24? Yeah. Because most guys in this sport start, you know, maybe yeah. in their teens or even in their early 20s. I'll tell you where you would have been. You would have been Mr. Olympia. Well, you never, <laughs> you never that's, that's a no-brainer. If, if you got to this in five years and you're still growing because I yeah. saw you like uh, two, at the LA Expo was like six weeks ago. Yeah, six weeks. And he grew since last time I saw him. Yeah. Put on like six pounds and looks leaner. So this guy is a fucking, just a genetic freak. And that's not to take anything away. It's not to say you don't work hard. Yep. But, you know, to have those kind of genetics and then take that work ethic and put it together. Exactly. That's what you get, you know. And there's other guys out there that we can talk about. You know, Phil Heath. You know, Kevin yeah. Leveroni. You know, exactly. these guys. They just, they hit the weights, boom, yeah. they blow up, they go on a national show, they win the national show. Yeah. Go on their first pro show, win their first pro show. Go yeah. on Olympia, place top five. Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. Like, what the fuck? That's right. And, uh, you know, that's fucking genetics. It is. And, you know, genetics is a big part. And, you know, a lot of people will look at me and they'll say, man, you, you, you have good genetics. And it's like, no, I, I've been training for 33 fucking years. If anybody trained for 33 fucking years, and took steroids for as long as I had. They're gonna be fucking my size or bigger. Yeah. So I'm telling you, uh, this is a prime example of pure genetics. And 
There's guys out there right now that are watching this that have been taking steroids for longer than five years. And those are the ones that are looking at this guy and they're like, how the fuck is that possible? Yep. You know, how is that possible? I've been killing myself and doing this for this long and I'm not even half his size. So um, watch this guy because he's just going to keep on growing. Monster. <laughs>